is a special day. Monster fish? Some jewels? Oh, it's still here. This could be the potential. I've never owned an eel. Uh, I don't know. There's too much action going on. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad channel. thing. Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back with another aquatic adventure. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything in the aquarium hobby. And today, is a special day. It's your boy's birthday. Go Charlie, it's your birthday. Ooh, whoa, oh, I almost fell over. Whew, man, your boy, uh, you know, doesn't move like he used to. Now I'm super excited for this video because when you get older, your birthday really doesn't mean anything. You know, you got your kids, you got friends. What do you want for your birthday? And you just kind of go, I don't need anything. But this year, your boy wants two specific things. I want some jewels and some hoes. What? Yeah, you heard me right. Jewels and hoes. Bro, what are you talking about? And we're gonna go get them and get your mind out of the gutter. All right, so if you guys didn't guess, I'm here in Citrus Heights at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. And what is the best way to go out on your birthday is to come to your local fish store and buy yourself a gift. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. I don't know, my Ohana, there's just so much to choose from here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Fresh water, salt water, and even some corals. I don't know what it is, Ohana, but I always find myself gravitating towards all of the coral aquariums that they have here at Aquarium Depot. Look at, I don't know what it is. I'm kind of getting a bug. Uh, should we get maybe a new coral for the saltwater aquarium? Or maybe a new monster fish? Oh, wait, hold on, Ohana. I'm kind of curious to see if anybody bought that double-headed Siamese brain coral. Do you remember that super unique piece that they had here? I'm curious to see if somebody bought it. Um, if you guys don't remember what it looked like, it was in my last video. I'll put a picture of it right there. There it is. See that? That's one coral, but it's like got two separate colors in the same coral, and it's one coral. It's insane. It's not man-made. It's natural, too. So um, I'm kind of curious to see if somebody bought it. Let's go see. All right, as we turn the corner, here it is. Oh, it's still here. It's still here. This is the Siamese brain coral. Look it. If you look at it right here, look it. Side by side, it looks like two separate corals, but it's not. It is one coral. All my coral heads out there, comment, please. Is this a unique piece or is it just me? It's for sale. If I had the right setup for this piece here, I would totally get it. I mean, you talk about a unique piece in your collection. It's like you're getting a two for one. That's amazing. It's still here at Aquarium Reptile Depot. Get your butts out here. Get this coral. There's just so much to choose from here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Ooh, I found something that may turn some heads. Check this out. This right here is a fire eel. Look at this beautiful eel. I'm gonna tell you guys something. I've never owned an eel before. This could be a first. What do you guys think, a fire eel? It's the first time I've ever had an eel. Pretty cool birthday gift, right? Oh, I just saw something right next to that aquarium. I had to come on and tell you guys, this could be the potential birthday gift. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think, all right? Let me flip this camera around and show you guys what they got here. This is super rare, but also super popular in the hobby. Right now, as I speak, I know a couple YouTubers that actually have one of these fish, and I was like, holy crap, I didn't even know they had this fish in the freshwater hobby. Check it out. Okay, speaking of eels, my ohana, you guys see this critter box that's in here? You see that eel swimming in there? Anybody know what that is? Huh? Well, that's a freshwater, I stress, freshwater, golden tiger, moray eel. Yes, that is a freshwater moray eel. Look at how beautiful. My boy Gordon, Aquarium Talk TV, has one of these beauties. And I think my boy Martin Fish Keepers has one of these too as well. Oh my gosh, this would be an awesome birthday gift. What do you guys think? Look at Look at, I, I gotta zoom in on them. There's just too much action going on. My camera wants to zoom in on these damn blood parrots, but get out of the way, guys. I'm trying to, there you go, look at them. <gasps> a moray eel, freshwater, all right? Freshwater moray eel. O-M-G-Z. 
OMGZ. If you guys are curious how much he is, he's $200. Oh! Uh, I don't know what to do right now. Go ahead and pause the video. I'll pause for you. Look at pause the video. Go down in the comments and say yes or no. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna ask my boy Chris. Chris, should I get that more eel? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hands down. Of oh, course, yeah. of course, Great right? Yeah, right. There you go. It's Happy the perfect birthday, birthday yeah. gift. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I have the birthday money. Maybe at the end of the day, we might get some birthday money, and maybe we can come back and get that. I don't know, but comment down below, Ohana. Let me know. Should I come back and get that freshwater mori eel? Ooh, man. I don't know. Decisions. Decisions, yeah. Chris. Come on, support him, guys. Support this guy right here, man. Hey, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad channel. thing. I think I asked the wrong guy, right? Yeah. They have a cichlid here that I used to keep super aggressive. I had to get rid of it because it was too aggressive in any tank that I put him in and any fish that I put him with. Uh, he wasn't that bad when he was little, but as he got bigger, super aggressive. He was actually attacking my Ocellaris peacock bass, Zeus, but they have him here. And you don't normally see these fish at your local fish store, but they have them here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Check it out. They have an entire aquarium full of red tiger motoquints. Look at them. <gasps> I can't believe they have this fish right here. You don't normally find them in your local fish store. So for Aquarium and Reptile Depot to have them, look at them. They, uh, I suggest you guys come here and pick at least a couple of these guys up. Let me show you what a male and female looks like full grown. These are all juveniles, these are little guys. Let me show you the male and female. I'll put a picture on the screen right now, look at that. See how beautiful the red? That's why, hence the name, Red Tiger. Motoquits, absolutely gorgeous, but they're super aggressive, so be aware, all right? Um, I have a huge peacock bass named Zeus, and this fish bullied him, and Zeus was like 10 times bigger than my red tiger so just keep that in mind okay not saying you can't put them with other fish but just depends on you know the personality of the red tiger that you get but they have an entire aquarium devoted to the red tiger motoquins oh my gosh come down here and get them look at them see how look at see how vicious they are super aggressive look at them all <laughs> all my goldfish lovers out there they have a huge shipment of all types of goldfish fancy orandas Fancy Ryukins. Look at the list goes on and on and on to the break of dawn. Look at bigger Orandas over here. You want some big Orandas? Look at them all. Whew. Come on down. We got smaller Orandas or smaller fancy Orandas. So they have different sizes ranging in all different types of prices. Oh, look at the butterfly goldfish too. Love these guys. And then look at the Ranchu. Oh, they have them all. Big shipment of goldfish here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Come get your goldies. Oh, you know what I definitely gotta pick up? I gotta pick up some food. Here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot, they have a wide variety of all different types of fish foods. Saltwater, freshwater, uh, pellets. They even have flake food here. Specific food for certain fish, like goldfish food, nano fish, monster fish, even shrimp, herbivore, omnivore, carnivore. They have frozen foods here. They also have a section here with live food for your fish. So like I said, they have it all. Now, earlier on my video, I talked about coming here to pick up two things for my birthday. I wanted some jewels and I wanted some hoes. Now that was obviously a play on words and it was kind of a, an abbreviation of some beautiful freshwater aquarium fish. Anybody have a clue on the jewels and the hose? Anyone? I don't know if I should tell you now or should uh, we just teleport back home and I can show you what I picked up. I'll see you guys back at the house in three, two, one, teleport. Whoo, just like that, we are back home. Behind me is the six foot aquarium. We're in Tiki Lounge, my uh, garage that I converted into my fish room or slowly converting into my fish room. Now, with all that being said, are you guys ready to see some jewels and hoes that I picked up for my birthday? I'm ready to show you guys. Let me flip this camera around, grab a net, and we're gonna release them into the six foot aquarium. You ready? Yeah, I am too, let's go. All right, my Ohana, so we have them right here in the net. We are gonna slowly release them into the aquarium. Now, as far as jewels go, we got the world famous and very rare Turkana jewel cichlids along with some 
Redhead Tapajos. One of my favorite Geo Vegas, hence the name Jules and Hose. You get it? Right. I'm just having some fun with you guys on my birthday. I am so ecstatic to have those jewels, those Turkana jewel cichlids. They are absolutely gorgeous. Wait till they color up too. You can see it right there, right? There's no color. They're actually a beautiful red. Watch, you'll see them. They'll settle in and uh, they will turn red and we will do a quick little update on, look how beautiful. Wow, I didn't even know they had like a little teal in their fin. You know, I hope these guys are okay. They'll find a nice little hide somewhere. And of course the redhead Tapahoes, look at these three. They are just cruising along with the other Geo Vegas. Uh, nice size, they're pretty good size, so we don't have to really worry about them getting into too much trouble. And uh, yeah, hopefully everybody just, uh, you know, just gets along in here, especially with those Turkanas, man. I want the Turkanas to kind of hang out together, find a little place, a little home inside the aquarium for them to hang out and flourish, though. Um, we'll see. I gotta watch the, the Turkanas and I gotta watch those rainbow cichlids. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that there is a, enough room in this six foot aquarium and enough hides for them to all establish a little territory of their own. Now you can actually see the red coming out in them right now. They're actually literally changing colors as I'm speaking. Oh, look at the red head top of hose. Look at them hanging out. Ooh, they are already showing some really good color. Big shout out to my boy Chris over at Aquarium and Reptile Depot for picking out all the most beautiful fish. Um, I didn't even look to see what he picked. So this is kind of a surprise for me too as well. I mean, I knew I was gonna get the top of hose, uh, but the ones he picked are absolutely gorgeous. Chris, big shout out to you, brother. Man, these are sexy. We do have Turkana cichlids. Oh, I can't wait to do an update video. Cross your fingers, my Ohana, that these guys find a nice little home inside here. Now listen, I know the quarantine police are out there. You guys are probably saying, you didn't even quarantine your fish and you just stuck them in your aquarium, which a lot of people do, and I've done it, I'm guilty to that. I do have a method where I can quarantine my fish for parasites and all the yucky bacterias and all that bad stuff for just an hour. I can quarantine my fish for an hour and then you can add it to your aquarium. If you guys want me to do a video on how I do it, my little method, my technique, uh, leave a comment down below. Just say hashtag quarantine and I will do a video on how to quarantine your freshwater fish and it only takes an hour. You don't need a quarantine system, no extra tanks. You, need, you don't need to wait two weeks to add your fish to an established aquarium. Just an hour, that's all you need. I gotta give a huge shout out to my boys, Jason and Jeff over at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. If you guys are ever in Citrus Heights, go check them out. I go there all the time. I uh, get a lot of fish there too as well. All their links will be down in the description below. Big shout out to Chris. He picked out some absolute sexy fish, didn't he? Big shout out to you, Chris. Shout out to the entire staff there. Excellent customer service. They are the nicest Ohana. Not only do they have a beautiful store, but they have beautiful people working there as well. And that's huge in this hobby. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog coming along with me on my birthday. And let me know what you guys think about the birthday gifts that I picked up for myself in the Six Foot Aquarium. The Turkana Jewel Cichlids better known as Jules, and of course, the Geo Vegas Redhead Tapahoes, better known as Redhead Hoes. We got some Jules, we got some hoes, I got my birthday wish. I'll see you guys on the next video, have a great day, take care, much love, and aloha. <laughs>